<laughs> Exciting information though coming from the Dallas Zoo. It's creating a lot of hype this week. A whooping crane was born there. Yeah, the birds are native to Texas and are considered endangered. As Noelle Walker reports, the zoo is working to change that. When you visit the Dallas Zoo on a steaming hot day, you can see some pretty cool birds. But the exhibits don't reflect all the birds in the zoo's care. We and several other zoo partners are breeding whooping cranes to then put back into the wild. Um, so it's a very important project. So this picture is an important moment. It's the first whooping crane to hatch at the Dallas Zoo's Whooping Crane Center of Texas in Mesquite. It's taken five years to get just one baby chick. Whooping cranes are not casual daters. That is correct. It takes, it's a process. There's, there's a dating process. There are other crane species on display at the Dallas Zoo. Conservation is part of the mission, but you won't see whooping cranes on exhibit here. Today, they're still dealing with habitat loss. Climate change is obviously at the forefront of our mind. This chick is so special because whooping cranes are on the endangered species list. Texas is their home. It's a native species that we should really be conserving, and it's something that we, we can do in our own backyards to help conserve this species. Um, on a personal level, this is a story that I read about when I was a child, and it influenced me getting into this conservation arena. Everything is connected. When one species is threatened, others are impacted too. And we do have the occasional issue with um, birds getting shot and or running into power lines and things like that. So there's a lot of education and mitigation that we still have to work on. For the next generation, here. So this is just the first, right? And here.